select second gear. Sport mode is on. deserves a good B-road bashing from me. So the boost sort of comes in at around two and a half, three thousand RPM. <laughs> and I've been told by the owner Luke as well to disengage the traction control by holding it down. So there you press the button down for around five seconds and it will be completely off of the car. little mini cooper is frankly insane lovely inside to these newer you know r56 mini coopers i love the dash on them and they seem a lot bigger than the previous model inside you know you've got armrests and you've got you know nice amenities this one has a lovely sound system in it it has the heated seats as well so we're on a nice little b road with select second gear <laughs> and the quickness you can get through that gearbox. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, the brakes, the standard John Works Cooper brakes with drilled and grooved discs. Oh, oh wow. And when you are coming around a turn, coming out the other side in pretty much any gear, you've got the instant boost that you want. You know, there's no turbo lag like, whatsoever in this car. I am in love with the pops and bangs as well. It's so cool. Every time you let off, there's a massive bang. And on the sport mode as well, you actually have fire coming out the back of this with the pops and bangs as well. So pretty cool little feature on a little Mini Cooper. Sort of taming the front end of this car, but it's still squirrel. 
literally but in the best way the front wheel drive sort of torque steer and the excitement from this little hot hatch is exactly what it's all about the mini cooper itself is a fantastic little car and you put that sort of power for it you create the pops and bangs you put the ap coilovers on it you strip the back of this car out as well it's stripped out with a strengthening bar going across the actual rear of the struts yeah i'm in love with this i think it's sick it's so so good to drive i am genuinely blown away at how good this car is to drive it's just built for purpose and the purpose being that go and have fun in it and that's what it's all about it's still so comfortable in here even on the coilovers the ride is fantastic the seats you know being the standard ones are still very supportive very nice very comfortable but still have a little bit of bucketiness in them but you're not sort of getting thrown around the car this car actually has a manic stage free map on it to produce all these pops bangs and obviously getting the mapping up there so the stage free being that you can run you know nigh on 300 brake horsepower with the standard turbo but having the forged internals to go with it so we'll select second gear sport mode is on running more power you want a better clutch in this car just like that <laughs> with the forging of the engine as well this has a set of cat cams though third gear 3000 revs instant boost and you chuck it into a turn and it just absolutely throws the car into the turn just takes the car with you into the turn now the uk has fantastic b roads and that's what i bang on about is you know if you live in the uk and you want a good exciting car it has to you know be used down these b roads and it has to complement the b road it has to be you know good with stopping power good with acceleration and good with the cornering and this is that car Thickest little thing ever. Now I must say a massive, massive shout out to the builders of this car, Sussex Road and Race, who forged the engine, 1320 for the tuning and the mapping of the car, and Palmer Works for doing the rest of the work, the coilovers and the brakes. Huge, huge shout out to all those guys for producing and creating one unbelievable driving car. a car like this go and you know forge it get it running and, and driving as good as this one so guys thanks for watching make sure you head over to fyd apparel and cop some fyd merch make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel for more car reviews and i'll see you all on the next video cheers guys